What is up guys, Adele here with Traders Brawl in collaboration with Web3 TV. We are at the AIBC day two. Today I have a special guest and good friend of mine, Emre from Nadma, uh, and we're gonna be talking about his company. So you are co-founder of Nadma. Tell us a bit about yourself. Amazing, so my name is Emre. I'm the co-founder of Nadma. Nadma is a Dubai-based incubator and consultancy firm. We help companies on a multiple levels help them get funding, help them get network assistance, help them with the token and NFT economy design, and help them with the go-to-market and overarching strategy. In the recent months that we've been building, we've accumulated 150 venture capital partners, 40 launchpads, 200 companies under our ecosystem, dozens of KOLs, and dozens of blockchains. So what we do is we look at a company stage, they usually need to connect with the right investors, right exchanges, blockchains, integrations, partnerships, have a right token design to perform well, have the right documentation and strategy. So that's what we do. We help early stage companies, we accelerate founders, get them a good listing and get them on a great path into the future. Very good. And, and in terms of uh, helping these companies, are there, are there any criteria that they need to fulfill like certain amount of followers or certain amount of traction? How does it work? Yeah, great question. So every project at an early stage does not have everything at the level that everyone may see, right? So our job is to take them and help them get to the level. So we may look at two core foundationary things, the team and the product. The only two things, if a product and a team is good, everything is possible. If a product is good, but a team is bad, they may not be able to execute. However, if a product is bad and a team is amazing, the product they may be able to execute may not have as much traction. So for us, it's finding that right balance of early stage companies that we can actually help that have a great team and a great product that we can accelerate moving forward. Got it, makes sense. And are you only focused on the Web3 blockchain space or others too? Only Web3 for now. Okay. So we are only Web3 native right now. All of our portfolio companies are Web3. We've worked with blockchains, games, DeFi protocols, SocialFi platforms, everything in Web3. Why? Our knowledge, our resources, our network is strictly in Web3. We don't want to help a company we can't help. So we're sticking to Web3 and also Web3 for life, man. Right, of course, of course. No, stick to your, stick to your craft. Uh, and finally, I want to ask Nadma. Nadma is, is an interesting name. What does Nadma actually mean? And I read it backwards as Hamdan, is that right? Yes. So I'll come to the history of why. Myself and my partner, Thomas Stanbury, we're professional swimmers. Okay. We always swam together and that's how our friendship grew. We swam at a pool in Dubai called Hamdan Sports Complex. We spent hundreds of hours there swimming, torturing ourselves with the practices, the training. So when we were in the position to find a new name, we said to each other, let's go to Hamdan, the place where it all started. Let's swim when our heads are free and let's find the name. We're swimming backstroke and on the top of the roof, we see the word Hamdan. And because we're swimming backwards, we read it backwards as Nadma. So we were like, oh, Nadma. That's awesome. We, we immediately went to Google and saw no one has the name Nadma. Hamdan is also a very UAE based name, just backwards and be us being a Dubai based company, we thought Nadma's great, short, simple, yet very easy to pronounce in different languages around the world. Very nice. I love the story. I love the backstory. Um, so I, I really look forward to this space and watching you, uh, you know, thrive. You, you and Thomas both. Uh, I see you always together, and uh, you're doing great stuff in this space. So thank you. Thank you so much. My pleasure as well. Likewise. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this insightful, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.